Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be sharing the trends that I'm leaving behind in 2023 and the trends that I am bringing into 2024. Let's go. Before I'm getting into all the things I'm leaving in 2023, I want to share with you one thing that I will be taking with me to 2024 as well, and it's the Voss Health app. It's a health and wellness app that I love incorporating into my daily routine. The app creates a personalized well-being routine that consists of tests, exercises, questions, and a lot of really great things that help to jumpstart my day in a more aware intuitive and positive way something that I've noticed that's really cool is the more I use it the more personalized it gets so it really understands kind of my habits and what I like and what makes me feel good and suggest according if you're looking for ways to become more mindful this year I highly recommend to check out the Voss health app I have a special code for you I'll be sharing in the description box for 20% off the annual subscription okay I have a confession to make it is December 2023 and I've watched a Barbie movie two days ago. And that's a very important thing to note because I feel I've been having Barbie presence in my life for the past like six months. But I am so ready to leave Barbie core behind. I'm talking about the hot pinks. So 2023. I'm talking about the bows and the sparkles and the hearts. It was really fun trend to play into. It was a fun trend to uh, wear and experiment with and I definitely leaned into it. Uh, you guys also very much enjoyed my Barbie content so I appreciate you. But it is time to move on to better and bigger things. We first saw the Barbie core and specifically the hot pink with Valentino's fashion show, fall, winter 2022, 2023. And I feel like that was our soft entry point into that era. So the fact that Barbie like managed to come right after was, makes me think there was like bigger, someone manufactured that Barbie core season for all of us so thank you so much for your service barbie but it's time to go bye bye barbie okay so we said bye bye to the barbies and what we are going to bring in are the more mature sophisticated colors i am not saying no completely to the pinks but i want like a deeper pink i want a meaningful pink i want a wise pink is there a wise pink but I'm talking about colors like cherry. I'm talking about eggplant. I'm talking about chocolate brown. I've been already leaning towards those colors and I just feel like there's something very grounding in them and very easy to incorporate into the outfits. We already lean more into the blacks and the grays and the whites in the winter. So I feel like those will really flow nicely into that wardrobe. The next out I am actually pretty excited to let go of although i completely took advantage of that trend are the cutouts if you remember there was a lot of geometrical little shapes every designer really showcased that trend in their own way and they were very cool outfits to wear i think i very much leaned into the dresses you know the rib cutout or the shoulders cutout midriff cutout there was a lot of cutouts but i am ready to let it go i'm ready to pull it back in to the classics one is definitely a thing of the past for me personally and I think we definitely will see less and less of those modern cutouts on clothing. We're saying bye-bye to the cutouts, but we are keeping the skin. I do love a beautiful, elegant way to showcase skin. I am talking about off the shoulder. It can be asymmetrical, it can be one shoulder or both shoulders. We're talking about a slit for a dress or a skirt and an open bag. Those are all classic ways to showcase a little skin, but in a very sophisticated, beautiful way. So we're moving away from more of the trendy, trendy cutouts and trendy, trendy way to show skin to a more sophisticated, elevated way to show skin. Okay, this is not a trend I'm leaving behind per se, but this is something that I'm already jazzing it up. So. 
the one trend that i feel we can all agree on is the quiet luxury the monochromatic looks that is a very easy way to put together an outfit whenever i feel like i'm in a pinch i just go for monochromatic outfit so this will not change but what i do want to bring in more and i see that i'm already doing is bringing fun patterns into my monochromatic looks so i'm talking about leopard <laughs> I'm talking about zebra. I'm talking about snake. Obviously all of it should be faux because we're conscious girlies. This is such a fun way to really bring a piece of your personality, a little bit of flair to an otherwise pretty grounded and classic outfit. Some of my outfits that featured it was faux crocodile print brown mini skirt with my big brown knit another thing that i've started doing is playing around with shoes i actually got this pair from stuart weitzman it's a snake skin boot I wore this high neck long black dress and then worn the boots and it was just a little bit of that snake skin shown that really like upgraded the outfit and made it feel more fun and more of a personality outfit so what i'm trying to say is don't be scared of bringing some of these things into your wardrobe the snake skin the animal prints i feel like there is a really fun way to tie it back into the quiet luxury worth mentioning that if you hear of all these trends that i'm bringing back these are all things that most of us have in our closets or can easily be found at like a thrift store or a vintage store it encourages me and i know i'm gonna be going back into my closet and finding the things that been tucked away to the side and I highly recommend for you to do the same.